Antarctica was first discovered in 1820 by the European explorers. Since then, explorers of different parts of the world have found useful insights about Antarctica and making claims to different parts of the Antarctica. By 1959, in the middle of the Cold War, there were seven different countries, Argentina, Chile, United Kingdom, France, Norway, Australia, and New Zealand started claims on the different parts of the region. Australia claimed the biggest portion, 42%. Each country was claiming the land based on different criteria, like their extent of exploration, presence in the area, geographical location, or the geological connection. The dispute over the region escalated, while the most of the continent was still unexplored. There was a growing concern that maybe Antarctica will be used for military purpose, like testing nuclear weapons. A very important year was 1957-1958. A diverse group of scientists from 12 different nations and from different disciplines such as oceanography, geomagnetism, and geology came together, leaving political tensions away as a part of the International Geophysical Year. They came to an understanding of the Earth as a global system and the critical role that Antarctica plays in the entire planet. After that, 12 nations, Argentina, Chile, Australia, New Zealand, Belgium, France, Great Britain, Norway, Japan, South Africa, the United States of America, and the USSR signed the historic Antarctic Treaty in the Washington as a resolution to the conflicts in the region that was going on for decades. The purpose of the treaty was to promote the collaboration on more scientific research and ban all military activities and have peace in the region. So no one can claim a piece of land in the Antarctica today. Over the years, more nations joined the treaty and eventually a total of 54 nations signed the treaty. Out of them, 29 countries are consultative parties. They conduct the scientific research in the region and participate in the Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meetings, ATCMs, each year and involved in the decision-making process. The other 25 nations are non-consultative parties. They signed the treaty and can attend the Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meetings, but cannot participate in the decision-making process. So no one nation has ownership of the Antarctica.